Um, okay, guys. Uh, what I have here, this is the the third video about my hydrogen fuel cell, and this is my setup. As you can see, this is my bubbler. Here I have my fuel cell, and uh, I'm not using a battery. I'm using a a battery charger, which I have here, Iceland AT Altium. Uh, I'm using it set uh, for 6 volts on 2.2 amps uh, and this is because if I put it on 12 volts or and 5.4 amps what happens is that my my fuse over here this one will blow because this is only uh, an 8 amp fuse I intend to use a 20 amp fuse, but uh, I don't have it yet, so uh, once I have it, I think there will be no problem, as well as uh, as well as well my amp meter, which right now uh, is here, but this is only a, a 2 amp DC unfused, so I don't really want to push it with, uh, with lots of amps, because I might uh, get it burnt or something like that, so... I'll just explain my setup quickly. So, this is my battery charger, works same way as the car battery. Then, positive current comes all the way here, goes through my 8 amp fuse, and then it goes all the way around to my amp meter. Then, out of the amp meter, it goes through the black wire to my relay this is a 12 volt uh, I'm not sure if you can see it like this but it's a 12 volt 25 amp relay and then it goes to my fuel cell this is the positive uh, cable negative goes straight to the negative of the battery in this case the the battery charger what I have there that is uh, basically just a transformer set at uh, 7.5 volts DC and that's what I'm using just to trigger the the relay. I have here the connections. So mm, ground and uh, positive. Once I plug this in here, basically what you'll get is um, you get to trigger the relay and the whole thing starts going. So right now we have the amps like uh, zero because we're, we don't have a uh, connection established yet so I'm just gonna uh, so that you can see again it's set at 6 volts 2.2 amps I won't turn it to 12 volts or 5.4 amps which would be on this side right now it's set on this side uh, the, the lowest one this would be the higher charge aside I won't set it that way because as I told you before this is an 8 amp fuse I intend to use a 20 but right now I don't have it and as well as this one is just a 2 amp DC unfused I don't want to break this down so I'm not gonna try that right now okay so I'll just uh, trigger the relay and we'll be able to see um, why it's it's a uh, low uh, hydrogen production but just for you to be able to see that it works okay here we go okay connected relay triggered I'm not sure if you were able to hear the click and right now here we have hydrogen production oh I'm using distilled water with uh, one teaspoon of baking soda I've tried it with tap water but the production is a lot uh, less than this one. As you see here on my bubbler, uh, the production is not very high. It's, uh, it's quite few actually, but uh, you can see that it works. So here you have the hydrogen gas coming out. Then this is the place where it supposedly would come out and go to the intake manifold in my car which which is what I intend to do in the future of course if I increase uh, uh, right now we're running at about uh, not sure if you can see 3.75 amps okay so at 3.75 amps 
this is the gas production that we achieve. So what I'm gonna do right now, as I've done before, is that I'm gonna burn this 8 amp fuse out. I'm gonna go here and I'll increase my voltage to 12 volts instead of 10 and you'll be able to see that uh, instead of 3.80 amps like we're doing right now we'll have about 9 amps and that's the reason why the fuse won't last long but if it happens as before it'll, it will work and you'll be able to see that the gas production will definitely increase so I'm just gonna my power source out to change that because I don't want to burn the fuse oh and this this power source has a, a 10 amp fuel inside uh, 10 amp not fuel fuse a 10 amp fuse inside so if it goes over 10 amps uh, the fuse will blow and no connection okay so I'm gonna set it to 12 volts right now we have it at 12 volts 2.2 amps so I'm gonna plug it in as I told you this transformer it's just to trigger my relay okay power source connected 2.2 amps 12 volts here we have it we're gonna trigger the relay you'll see that the amperage will be a lot higher and then I'll try and record a bit of the gas production before the this 8 amp fuse blows out like my last one which is here completely blown okay I hope I don't blow my amp meter okay so right now we're about 960 amps and you can see that the gas production increases a lot okay here we have it on my fuel cell and the bubbler so I'm gonna turn it off because I don't want to blow the fuse 965 amps okay so this is basically how it works this would be the wire the wire I'm using to uh, to trigger the relay most people connect this on the fuel pump or or oil pump I think uh, in order to trigger this when they turn the car on but I don't think that's a good idea because if you keep your key in the on position even with the the engine not running uh, that wouldn't be a good thing so I think that the best you can actually do is to connect this to your alternator once the engine starts running you get power here you trigger the relay and the fuel cell starts producing if the engine goes down even if the key is in on position it won't produce any hydrogen uh, because it wouldn't be nice to have it producing hydrogen with the engine off okay see ya